the little ones all the way to like the whole community, everyone of all ages joining in. It was really fun. Uh, so TransLink approached us. They have a program called Art Moves, which brings artists, uh, musicians, dancers, uh, poets into the, the SkyTrain system. TransLink recognized that um, ridership was low post-pandemic, uh, also recognized that art and culture is something that they want to support and that really helps build community and makes riders feel safe and seen in their system. You know, once music starts and then watching other people yeah. dancing, we just grooving around. The elderly, they're not even moving, but they, their eyes are like... They're in it. In it. Yeah. And then like, that makes me happy. I'm like, okay. Like, we are like having like some conversation between the eyes. In the ultimate present state. Yeah. I guess because you're so connected. Like, we look at each other and we're like, oh, we're in this thing together. And then seeing them dance, in the public, no fear, doing what they love to do. It's actually like gave me and gave us like some energy to create, inspired us a lot. I think art can give us, um, people heal, people can connect together to do things like this so that we can uh, use the tool of art or in dance to bring people together and feel the love and then we can share the love. Of course, we know the Queen Beyonce is coming on Monday, and who doesn't love Beyonce? So we had not yet done a flash mob. This was our most ambitious event to date in uh, transit space, and uh, we think it was a great success.